Welcome back to the Six Figure Mastermind. Today, we're gonna to be discussing on how to become a good public speaker. There's one of these rules called the six second rule. I wanna tell you about what that is, so stay tuned. The most important thing you need to know about becoming a public speaker is to be yourself. Now I'm sure you've heard that all the time. You hear it from motivational posters everywhere. It's just be you, right? But what does that even mean? Do you even know who you is? Do you know what it means to be you? Do you know what you want people to think when they see you? I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to kind of identify yourself and what being you means. I want you to pick three words that you want people to see, think, feel, experience, smell, taste, whatever, when they're around you. Pick three words that you feel define you. Now I'll give you an example. My three words are spunky, tenacious, and go-getter. Those are my three words. That's what I want people to think, feel, see, experience when they're around me, okay? Spunky, tenacious, and go-getter. That means whenever I'm out picking out clothes for the stage, I want clothes that say spunky. I want clothes that say tenacious. I want clothes that say go-getter. I want hairstyle, makeup, total A to Z appearance in everything I do to say that. I mean, it's part of branding yourself, right? Everything you do online should have those three keywords. You know, you can borrow my three keywords if you want. You're gonna do it differently than me, but pick three words that really define you. Dress the part, act the part, and allow that to be the definition of who you are. Once you've defined who you are, now it's time to forget yourself and go to work because, guys, the stage, it's not all about you. It's actually about the people. The reason that that room is full is because there's dozens or maybe even hundreds of people in that room who want to be better off because they were with you. And it's your job to provide that. So if you're consumed with, oh, does my hair look right? Oh, am I reflecting my three key words? Oh, am I walking to the right part of the stage? You've lost it. Your concern needs to be the people in the room. Are you providing value for them? Do they feel like rock stars? Dan Clark is one of my favorite speakers of all time, and it's primarily because of this key phrase. I want you to write this down. I'm, I'm serious. Like, write this down, put on a sticky note next to every computer, computer, make it the background on your phone screen, whatever you want to do with it, but take note. This phrase changed my world. I like me better when I'm with you. I want to see you again. That's what your clients, your customers, your audience members need to be feeling after you spend time with you. I like me better when I'm with you. I want to see you again. And that is best accomplished when you understand that your clients, your audience, the people in front of you, they are the rock stars of this show. It's not all about you. Okay, I wanna tell you about that six second rule. Connection is so important when you're speaking to people. That they get that rock star status because they feel a connection with you. When you're sharing the, the depths of your soul, when you're sharing, sharing your emotions with them. I wanna tell you about a man that I highly respect. His name is Michael Caine. Some of you may have heard of him. He's a very popular actor. You've probably seen him in very many movies. Michael Caine is an incredible actor and frankly, he got most of his parts because of this rule. So here it is. The six second rule is this. When you make eye contact with someone for more than six seconds, they start to get uncomfortable. After six seconds, that's when you start making an impact. Most people will look away after six seconds of eye contact and that's even pushing it sometimes. But if you can maintain at least six seconds of eye contact, direct eye contact without looking away and without blinking, you've unlocked something. You've connected with someone and you've connected with them on a level that pushed past their comfort zone. As a speaker, as a mentor on stage, you need to be willing to be the person that pushes past what people are typically uncomfortable with. People will never change. They will never transform. They will never improve upon their lives if they stay within their current comfort zone. It's your job as a speaker and as a mentor to gently guide them out of that. And even something so simple as holding their gaze for more than six seconds without blinking, without looking away, that can be enough of a shift for them to realize and understand that you see something different in them, that you're willing to escort them out of their comfort zone and into the space where the magic happens. The last thing I want you to remember is this, and I tell all of my students this, and I'm constantly reminding them and myself of this whenever I go on stage. You are never, ever speaking to an audience. I don't care if you're in an arena of 100 people. I don't care if you're in an arena of 1,000 people. I don't care if you're speaking to an entire city. Maybe you're broadcasting all over the world. You are never 
speaking to an audience. You're speaking to a group of individuals. And if I'm going to clarify it more, you're speaking to the one. I can remember one time I was getting ready for an event and we had our team together on stage and we were grouping up and psyching ourselves up for this stage. And we were psyching ourselves up for this event, preparing ourselves for all the people that were going to be walking through the door. And the question was asked, how many people do you want to help today? And I knew our registration numbers. I knew how many people were going to be expected at the event. I knew what our attrition would look like. And I knew all of those things. And typically in the past, my answer would have been hundreds, thousands, millions. But that day I changed it. And I said, you know what? I just want to find one. I want to find one person who I can make a difference for, whose life will be better off. And instead of going into that event looking for 20 people, I was looking for the one person, the one single person whose life I could make a difference in. And when I found who I thought was that one person, I would go for it. And then the next day, I was looking for that one person again. And maybe I would find that one person two or three or maybe even four times over the course of a day with the different people. But if you look for and speak to the one, you will become a great speaker and you will do what's most important, which is make a huge impact. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Appreciate you subscribing and ringing the bell so you can get the notifications. If you want to know what it looks like to speak on stage, if you want to be the one that's changing the lives of others, if you want to be the one that's up on that stage making an impact, then I want to know about it because I want to work with you. If that's you, go to the description, click on the link below, and that's going to set you up with a time to speak with me directly, and we can work together, master your signature presentation, and get you on that stage where you need to be. I'll see you tomorrow.